Howdy folks, welcome to part 3, Let's Play Land of the Dead, Road to Fiddler's Green. Just up ahead, you can barely make out the blinking SOS signal of the uh, doctor we're trying to get to. But there is a barricade of burning vehicles in front of us, so we're going to try to see if we can go around. Yep, I'm just going to walk on by. End up ahead, we have another section where we have to kill every zombie before we can continue. It happens way too often in this game. Zoe! You'd think they would have made it at least like you jumped over the barricade and landed on the car to set off the alarm. Instead, we're supposed to believe that they're starting to use proximity mine technology for car alarms nowadays. That guy looks a little lost on the ground there. Oh. There we go. Yes. Thank you, Kool-Aid zombie. As you can tell, we had to actually kill those to go on, but uh, that's actually the last time we'll have to kill them in this level. So the rest of the zombies, we can just run right on past. I really don't like this level because it uh, doesn't introduce any new zombie types or oh crap, or any new weapons or anything like that. So it's just basically more of the same as last level. Although we do get to see new uh, models for zombies like the mohead, mohawk right there. And it looks like the fire has spread to this side as well. So we're going to take a detour. Oh yes, our first sewer level. Uh, boy, do I hate this level. You know what? It's usually best to kill all the zombies in this one, but I think I'm going to try to get by without doing that. There's some uh, health up in there I don't want. Okay. Corpse here, pop up. There we go. And... Let's see stuff that way I don't want and some of these grates are open so yeah prepare to see some falling zombies scare me eventually pop up yep there you go that'll happen a lot in the game and that scares me almost every time that time I was alright about it though okay I need to go this way oh uh, crap I think all the zombies are going to follow me down here, so this is going to get interesting. Another trick in this game is to, if you get go into a room like these, it's actually best to not close the doors. Because that'll just get you bottled in with them. Okay, let's see how many are coming over here. New weapon type, the grenade. I'm not going to use it right here because it probably will get me killed. I have to save it for the next level. Uh, the grenades in this... There they are coming. The grenades in this game are ridiculously terrible. They're not strong enough to kill a zombie at one hit. And... They, uh... What's the word? Uh, they will kill you in one hit. Their explosive range is really weird. They're hard to see where you throw them. And you throw, like... Whoa. And you threw, like, a complete moron. Okay, I need it in here. There we go. Oh, crap. Did ha. There we go. Um, that was a bad demonstration, because it actually worked. But, uh, exploding zombies aren't... won't die. What's the word? It, it just blows off limbs. Okay, here is another radio. I am going to play it, but I'm going to add it, dub it in later. Reporting live from the emergency headquarters at the Jared Smith Center for the Performing Arts. We have reports that the West End fires are spreading even further. People living in the area are advised to be very cautious. 
If the fire gets close, evacuate your family and head to the nearest safe house. Once again, the following is a list of military safe houses. Regional Police Precinct 22 at 239 Ellington Avenue, Old City Hall at 55 Mill Street, and the Jared Smith Center for the Performing Arts at 26 King Street. Folks, please bring whatever supplies you can. We are in dire need of food, water, clothing, batteries, flashlights, weapons, and ammunition. This is Philip Hudson reminding you that we will be doing reports every hour on the hour for as long as we can. Okay, that was the first of many sewer levels. Thankfully, they're pretty short. And here's the first new model, the uh, dead zombie bags. Yay. We'll see a lot more body bags later on in the next level. Okay. You know, I really want to use these grenades full. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, see how low the uh, ammo counter is for this. Do -do. I don't need to kill all of these zombies, but, you know, I got the ammo mine as well. Okay, I'll be tactical. Okay, that didn't work either. Fine. You know, to heck with him. Okay, here's a spot where you do have to kill them all. Uh, another little area where you have to kill all the zombies and then the area will open up for you. Watch that car. That was pretty easy. Headshots seem to be working now. There we go. Yes, killing the zombies allows the car to explode. Don't explain that. I mean, don't ask me how that works. I just know it does. Let's see if I can burn myself. Yep. That's nice. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the bat. I mean, I used it on, what, one zombie? And already we get another weapon type. Just ahead. Yeah. This weapon is much better than the shovel and the hammer because it actually goes fast enough that you can, uh, you know... Pull down, pull off the knockdown effect without uh, getting mauled. Golf club is exactly the same as the uh, uh, bat, except it moves a little bit faster. I mean, except it swings a little faster, but uh, it does a little bit less damage. But if you're using a melee weapon, you're not using it to kill. You know what? It's nice open area outside. I'm gonna see if I can kill these guys with a grenade. Okay, time to run, 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 run. And it's... Oh. <laughs> I thought it exploded and got me. Oh, wow. It actually killed those two guys. That is... Wow. That is rare. Well, we're about out of time for this update. So, uh, check out next time when we go to the hospital.